Hello and welcome. In today's lesson, we will learn about the gradient or slope of a line segment. The formula for finding out the gradient of a line segment is g is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where x1, y1 are the coordinates of one point and x2, y2 are the coordinates of second point. Now look at the question in which the coordinates are given as 1 and minus 3 and minus 2 and 6. So x1 and y1 here are 1 and minus 3 and x2, y2 here are minus 2 and 6. Now putting these values in the into the formula we have y2 as 6 minus y1 as minus 3 divided by my x, x2 as minus 2 and x1 is 1. So here we have minus 2 minus 1. So further solving we will have 6 as minus minus is plus. So 6 plus 3 over minus 3. So the answer is 9 over minus 3 which will be further deducted as minus 3. So the final gradient comes out as minus 3. Now look at another question in which the coordinates are given as p plus 3, p minus 3 as x1, y1 and 2p plus 4 and minus p minus 5 as x2, y2. So the gradient of this coordinates is comes out as minus p minus 5 minus y1 is p minus 3 divided by 2p plus 4 which is x2 minus p plus 3 which is x1. We have to take care of the sign here as the minus sign in the middle of the formula will apply to the whole term of the y1 and x1. So here we have minus p minus 5 minus p minus minus plus 3 divided by 2p plus 4 minus p minus 3. Further solving, we will have minus 2p minus 2 over p plus 1. Taking minus 2 as a common in the numerator, we will have minus 2 bracket p plus 1 divided by p plus 1. Now the p plus 1 in the numerator and denominator will cancel out with each other and the answer comes out as minus 2. Now here we will have another question which is p plus q minus 1, q plus 3 minus 3 are x1 and y1 coordinate and p minus q plus 1 and q minus p plus 3 are x2 and y2 coordinate. In order to find out the gradient we put these values into the formula which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Here y2 is q minus p plus 3. Again, we have to take care of the sign as this sign which is present in the formula will be applied to the whole term of the y1. So, minus, we, we take it in the bracket. So, here minus bracket q plus, plus p minus 3 over p minus q plus 1 minus x1 which is p plus q minus 1 here. Further solving, we will have q minus p plus 3 minus q minus p and minus minus multiply with the minus become plus 3 divided by p minus q plus 1 minus p minus q and minus minus plus 1. Now we have minus 2p plus 6 over minus 2q plus 2. Taking minus 2 as common both in the numerator and the denominator we will remain with the values p minus 3 over q minus 1 in the bracket. Minus 2 in the numerator and denominator will cancel out with each other. And the final answer is p minus 3 over q minus 1, which is the gradient of the given coordinates. Now look at the question in which we have to show that the points a, b and b, c are collinear. The coordinates of these points are given as A is equals to 3, 4, B is equals to 7 and 6, C is equals to minus 3 and 1. In order to prove that, we will find out the gradient of both the 
line segments AB and BC. Now the gradient of AB is here A is equal to x1 y1 is equal to 3 4 and B is equal to x2 y2 is equal to 7 6. Now gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is 6 minus 4 over 7 minus 3 here and answer is 1 over 2. Similarly, we will find out the gradient of the points B and C. Now the gradient here is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Here x1 y1 is B is equal to 7 and 6 and x2 y2 is C which is minus 3 and 1. Now putting these values in the formula, we will have 1 minus 6 minus 3 minus 7 oh, which, which further solving we will have 5 over 10 minus will be cancelled out with the minus and 5 will cancel out with the 10 and the answer comes out as 1 over 2. So as you can see that the gradient of both the points AB and BC is same. So these points are collinear. Here we have another question in which we have to show that y is equal to 3x minus 9. And the coordinates of A, P and B are given as 3, 0, x, y and 5, 6. In order to prove that y is equal to 3x minus 9, we will find out the gradient of A, P and P, P. First, we will find out the gradient of A, P. Now A here is x1, y1 which is 3 and 0. And P is x2, y2 which is x and y. Now putting these values into the formula, we will have y minus 0 over x minus 3. So the gradient is y over x minus 3. Now gradient of PB is equals to P here is x1, y1 which is x, y. And B here is x2, y2 which is 5, 6. The gradient comes down z. 6 minus y over 5 minus 6. In order to show that y is equal to 3x minus 9, we will equate the both gradients which we have just find out. Now, equating both the gradient, we will have y over x minus 3 is equal to 6 minus y over 5 minus 6. Here, 5 minus x in the right hand side is in the denominator. It goes into the left hand side and multiplied with the y there. Similarly, x minus 3 on the left hand side is in the denominator. It goes on the other side and multiply with the factor 6 minus y. Further solving, we will have y into 5 which is 5y minus xy is equals to 6x minus xy minus 18 and minus 3 into minus y plus 3y. We have simply multiplied both these brackets. Now here we have uh, 5y minus xy. We, have, we will take xy in the right hand side into the left hand side. It was with a minus sign so it become plus xy. Similarly we will take plus 3y onto the left hand side and it becomes minus 3y. Now in the right hand side we will have 6x minus 18. Further solving we will have 2y is equal to 6x minus 18. Now here 2 with the y goes into the denominator on the right hand side and it becomes 6x minus 18 over 2. We will take common from 6x minus 18. And it remains as 3x minus 9. Now 2 in the numerator and denominator cancel out with each other. And the final answer is y is equal to 3x minus 9. So we have proved that these points gradients will make an equation y is equal to 3x minus 9.